What's going on guys, this is Leo Guild Wars and this is the weekly Leo news presenting you guys with all the hot topics that happen every week and just keeping you guys updated in a short video. So this is episode 5 and we're going to cover the Dragon Helmet Beard Bug, the Dragon Bash Achievement Glitch, School Uniform, Tybalt Backpack Cover, Skill and Trait Changes, plus the leaks on those and so much more. So just stay tuned and watch the whole video. Alright, first things first, we're going to discuss the Dragon Helmet and No Beards Allowed. And essentially, this has been a bug since the release of the game, where you're not allowed to have facial hair along with your helmet. But I believe that the Dragon Helmet really brought awareness to the majority of the player base, and they really want a big change to this. Because once you remove the facial hair, it makes your character completely different, because you put so much time and effort into making your character unique, and just having the helmet just basically just strips away all your time and effort because it can actually make your character look the manliest to the babiest. The second thing I want to discuss is the Dragon Bash achievement point glitch and essentially what happened was you're supposed to get a total of 10 achievement points for the Shatter Dragon Wings cover but this also included the Dragon Ball mini activity however a lot of people were having such bad experience with this mini activity because of all the AFKers and the exploiters, they removed the two achievement points requirement for the Dragon Ball. So it should be a total of eight achievement points for the Dragon Wings. But yes, there's a but. I mean, that forgot to implement this. So a lot of people were stuck at eight achievement points when it's supposed to be eight achievement points to get the Dragon Wings, but it was still 10, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's just a whole mess. <laughs> Yeah, it was just a messy situation, so a lot of people got pretty much pissed off because, hey, I can't blame them. Those wings were pretty much badass, so props for ArenaNet for making the wings, but down props for f***ing it up. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Tybalt Backpack cover, and this has been a leak in the mining of the Guild Wars 2 information, and I'm not sure if this is going to be in the gem store or they're going to release this in the Black Lion chest, but there is going to be a Tybalt back cover and it looks good. It just looks like another back cover with the tiger on your back. Just, you know, a different fur pattern for all you guys that love the backpack covers. I'm not a big fan of it, but it looks cute. I'm not going to lie. Right, so it's either it's going to be released on the Black Lion chest, so you're going to need the Black Lion keys for those or it's just gonna be released in the gem store, which probably will go for 300, just like the Quaggan backpack. Another cool thing I'm gonna discuss is a speculation on new servers that might be released because a post by Donnie, um, he found some pretty interesting facts or information that we can try to speculate on. What he thought was there might be new servers introduced um, during the next patch or probably the future patches, but in correlation to this, ArenaNet is pretty quick on their um, on the response and what they said was anything with an ID of 2000 is not an actual world. So on Reddit people are just speculating on what's going on. It might be like a cross server with PvP or they might merge servers but from now we don't really have enough information to actually deduce anything but what I can tell you is there might be something interesting happening very soon. <laughs> I'm kidding. The next hot topic that I'm gonna cover is the glitch on the investigation kit that you get from the Dragon Bash story instance. Now what the glitch is, it, this is just gonna be quick, <laughs> it's hilarious. What you do is you're gonna get this item which is called the investigation kit and it, it's utilized in the story instance but you'll be able to hold it on to your backpack so it's going to be an inventory for however long you want to keep it for and what you do is you double click it and it's going to appear in your hands and what you do is just drop it you can constantly just keep putting it in your hand and keep dropping it so players would be able to stack this item with its glitterly effect um constantly and just looking at this picture you, you get to see the magnitude of what you can do with this so i found this pretty hilarious it's very humorous but it's patched so i don't think you guys can do it anymore now we have discussed the school uniform outfit in the previous videos but we never really got a truly real picture of it so there has been a leak and we we are now able to see the model and as you can see the picture of the girl with the nice school uniform so it's coming soon we don't know when but once it comes you guys can fulfill your fantasy <laughs> and all the links are in the video description below so you can actually link it in game and see it, you know just play around with it play barbie and dress up with kent <laughs> all right 
for this future update that's going to be coming i'm not sure when i'm so excited this is probably the best thing that's ever going to happen so far in my opinion no judges anyways uh <laughs> Uh, it's they're just gonna have a huge trade changes so hopefully there's gonna be able like players are gonna be able to actually make builds and just many unique builds that just fluctuates and changes depending on the environment there's gonna be necromancer death shroud 5 change so I, I believe they're just gonna try to nerf it or they're gonna try to balance it whatever it sounds good to me <laughs> uh, there's gonna be new conditions so it could be expected. It's probably going to be similar to the fractals where they introduce a new condition. I'm not too sure about that. They're going to change the weakness condition because I believe it was kind of pretty much useless in my opinion. It didn't really have that much viability to it. And of course, they're going to change the sunbreakers. So all of this, it's going to happen soon. You guys should read it up on it. It's going to be in the link below for the official link to it or the website on the Guild Wars 2 website. So just read up on that and catch up on the news. In conjunction to the new traits upcoming update, we are able to show you guys the actual leak of all the trait skills. So there's no more weight to it, I guess. Uh, this is provided by Irem. So thanks to him on Reddit. He's magnificent. One of his guildies provided him all this information. But you're able to see every skill traits that they're going to release. So you guys can just get ready, start mixing and mashing all this together, making your ultimate build and just take over Tyria with all this. <laughs> I'm getting cocky here. Yes, just check it out. Tell me what you guys think about it. How, what are you guys gonna do with all this new traits? I'm so excited, you can tell from my voice. Also remember, I will be scrolling down this pretty fast. And if you guys actually do want to read it, just pause it, just look at it. And if it's still too fast or you want to do it yourself, Everything's in the link below in the video description and that's a wrap-up of episode 5 now Tell me what you guys thought about this. Um, how about the new mic? I got I got it as a gift So I might as well just try it out I hope it's better and I got a lot of criticism on my episode 4 where I would be cutting out the volume or audio too many times and there's this one guy that he really got upset and it really got to me so I tried to make this much better and I hope it met his expectation. Hopefully he's gonna comment. If it's not up to his expectation, I'm sure I'll get a lot better, promise. All right, Leo Guild Wars, over and out.